Hello everyone. Welcome to Reactify Labs. Today we will talk about an algorithm called leaky bucket algorithm. Leaky bucket algorithm. So before I go into the technical uh, definition and explanation of it, let's talk about where this is going to be useful. As the name suggests, it's a leaky bucket. So there will be a bucket which has a hole and therefore it will be leaky. So there will be water which will keep on leaking. So why why this name and what, what does it do? So where does it find its application? It finds its application in networking. So let's say you are watching YouTube. Okay. And what happens is your internet suddenly goes down or it becomes very slow. For example, usually you get, let's say 200 Mbps and suddenly um, due to some problem, you start getting, let's say one Mbps. Okay. Then what does YouTube do? Earlier, if the video you were watching was in 1080p, now you are watching that in first, let's say 144p because that's the lowest that YouTube supports probably 144 or 360. I'm not sure. So that so that it can give you a like continuous experience, no lag experience. But what if uh, this internet is slower than that to handle 144p? In that case, what happens is this you get something, then it buffers, right? Some buffering happens. Then again, you get something, uh, some scene, right? Some video and then again, buffering happens. So in this case, what it does is, so it's like that bucket. YouTube is like that bucket. YouTube, your phone uh, or your internet service provider, whatever it is, they receive everything. Okay. Uh, so the, the server is fetching the entire content, but due to the internet problem in your device, it cannot deliver you everything, right? So it keeps you delivering like that. Depending on your size, it uh, provides you that content in that manner. So uh, this is the simplest daily life experience or example that I could give you. Now let's go into the technical uh, and formal definitions of it and then we will learn more about it. So this is a, an algorithm which, so leaky bucket is an algorithm which serves as a, which serves as a critical rate limiting mechanism. So what is it basically? A rate limiting mechanism. A critical rate limiting mechanism in networking networking and telecommunications. Networking and telecommunications. Its purpose, its purpose is to precisely control data flow. is to precisely control data flow, preventing abrupt bursts, preventing abrupt bursts that might overwhelm the network resources. That might overwhelm the network resources right and it is essential for traffic management in networks uh, it ensures that there is an equitable resource utilization and it avoids conversion uh, sorry uh, congestion okay these are the things which uh, provide which are provided by the leaky bucket algorithm now let's talk about how this leaky bucket algorithm works. So it's as the name suggests, it's basically a metaphorical container which has a designated capacity. Okay. So let's assume this is a bucket as I had drawn before. So this is a bucket. 
bucket of water okay so this is a bucket of water and let's say there is a tap mm, which drops water into it drop by drop and the water is here let's draw it with precision like i am leonardo da vinci okay and let's say there is a hole here mm. let's say this is a hole then drop by drop water comes out it's just a this is the leaky bucket container so let's picture the leaky bucket as a metaphorical container which has a designated capacity similar to the physical bucket which is holding the water the algorithm governs data flow by allowing it to be poured in at a variable rate the data flow will be poured at a variable rate depending on the uh, leaky uh, leak rate incoming data is similar to pouring this uh, water into the bucket and fixed leak rate represents the controlled release of data overflow conditions are managed by either discarding or discarding the excess data or marking it for special handling maintaining controlled data flow means what happens if this flow is faster than this flow this will become overflowed right so it will overflow so how does that get get handled so to handle that what it does is let's say uh, it's not just like this right just one second so this is a metaphorical container right so in uh, in real life in computer science what happens is when this uh, there is an excess data which overflows let's say the capacity is mm, 1024 kb for example the capacity of the bucket and if more data comes so what happens is that data packet gets discarded either that it gets discarded or it's marked for handling later like it will be uh, put in a separate bucket or basket and it will be taken later once the, there is a space okay once there is space in bucket so basically it is similar to this so there is a host computer there is a interface so this interface is similar to this bucket okay and something will come out of here so there is a packet so this is a packet which comes and these packets keep coming and if there are too many so these are unregulated flow And once this, uh, after passing through this, what happens is, let's say it goes like this, a lot of packets come. And after this, these come in ordered manner. So this is a regulated flow. So that's how it manages the traffic. Okay. So this is how leaky bucket algorithm works. So what are the different components of the leaky bucket algorithm? Or as we say, leaky bucket. So... If we talk about components, first is bucket capacity. Okay. Second is input rate. And third is leak rate. These are the only three things. And we have discussed this all, right? It represents the maximum capacity of the bucket, which is bucket capacity. Input rate is means the rate at which this data is coming. Output rate or leak rate is the rate at which this data is coming. Okay. So that's it. That's all about the components of leaky bucket. Now let's talk about the use cases where this leaky bucket algorithm is used. So if we have to talk about use cases, first one is network routers. So leaky bucket is commonly used in network routers to regulate the flow of data. By controlling the rate of packet transmission, routers can prevent congestion and ensure fair usage of network resources. Next is QoS mechanisms. QoS mechanisms. QoS is quality of service. 
So many QoS mechanisms in networking utilize the leaky bucket algorithm to provide a predictable and controlled network experience. This is particularly important in scenarios where different types of traffic require varying levels of priority and bandwidth. Next is traffic police in networking. Traffic police in networking. So in network traffic policing, the leaky bucket algorithm is often employed to enforce traffic rate limits. It helps in maintaining a consistent flow of data preventing sudden bursts that can disrupt the network. And next is application rate limiting. Application rate limiting. Some applications use leaky bucket algorithm for rate limiting. For example, a web server might employ it to control the rate at which requests are processed, preventing one user or application from overwhelming the server with too many requests. Okay, now that we have talked about use cases, let's talk about some of the advantages and limitations of the leaky bucket algorithm. So what are the advantages? They ensure or the leaky bucket algorithm ensures a consistent and regulated flow of data. Ensures a consistent and regulated flow of data avoiding abrupt peaks that might lead to congestion avoiding abrupt peaks that might lead to congestion okay um, it proactively prevents bursts of data, promoting a controlled and orderly transmission of environment. So, proactively prevents bursts of data. It proactively prevents bursts of data, thus promoting a controlled and orderly transmission of data. Controlled and orderly transmission of data. And what are the limitations? So the limitations are like for scenarios where the bursty traffic is common, the algorithm may introduce a certain level of delay in transmission. So delay is introduced. Obviously, if we are going to introduce a rate limiting mechanism, there might come a delay. In instances where bucket overflows, there is a possibility of data being discarded, impacting the completeness of data transmission. So basically, data loss. Because as we have talked about that, right, what happens when, when the water is overflowed? So if data is overflowed, then they might get discarded or specially handled, depending on the type of implementation, if our data is important or not. If it's very important, it might go for special handling. Uh, like we have to decide it beforehand, right? So we decide it beforehand before implementing this that what will we do with the overflow condition if we know that our application is critical which holds critical data and completeness is essential then we will send the packets for special handling right if not we will just discard them okay uh, depending on our use case then we will implement our uh, excessive uh, overflow handling right so that's it and now i think i have covered most of the things Let's talk about one last thing about the implementation of leaky bucket in networking. Implementation in networking. So leaky bucket algorithm is practically implemented in network devices to control flow, right? Configuration within these devices ensures effective management of incoming data streams. So basically, it's configured in devices. So the network devices get configured, right? Core to its functionality is the prevention of network congestion. By controlling the data transmission rate, the leaky bucket algorithm ensures fair resource usage, minimizing the risk of congestion. 
so fair resource usage so this is what needs to be assured that there will be fair resource usage so basically uh, mm, in simple terms if we have to understand load balancing basically not exactly but yeah kind of like that if the everybody should get equitable amount of resources and um, applicability extends across networking components also so networking is one example but similarly we can use it in network routers to regulate data flow maintaining resource balance qos mechanisms leverage it for a predictable network experience it also plays a crucial role in application rate limiting preventing undue strain on specific applications so these are the things where um, this leaky bucket algorithm is used and this is how it works so i believe i have covered everything there is to know about leaky bucket algorithm so that's it thank you for watching please remember to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one